anesthesia. So any surgical procedure, whether it's a facelift or upper eyelid surgery, so on and so forth, needs anesthesia. What is anesthesia? So if we take a look at the etymology of the word anesthesia, an means without, esthes is sensation. So it's the state of being without sensation. However, if we really divide anesthesia into different subcategories, there's two parts to anesthesia. There is amnesia, meaning you don't remember the event, as well as anesthesia, you don't feel the event. To anyone who's had a surgical procedure like broken a bone and actually had general anesthesia for repairing a broken bone, you really don't remember the surgery. That is the amnesia portion of things. The fact that you didn't feel them cut the skin, drill the bone, so on and so forth, that is the anesthesia portion of things. So a good anesthetic uses both of these categories in order to achieve the total anesthetic effect. There are three broad categories of anesthesia that we use in our office. One is local anesthesia. Local anesthesia is really good for things like an upper blepharoplasty, okay? Local anesthesia is where I inject a medicine in order for you not to feel the surgery. So you will not feel anything. However, you will not have amnesia. You will remember everything. For very small procedures like an upper eyelid surgery, this type of anesthesia works great. The time that you're going to feel the numbing medicine is probably in the ballpark of about a minute. After the initial injection, you don't feel anything. Now if we move up the spectrum a little bit, we have local anesthesia with oral sedation. What does that mean? Now we're getting into the category where we're providing some degree of anesthesia for the entire body, meaning the whole body has a slightly decreased sense of touch feel, amnesia, so you don't remember, as well as the local anesthesia, which is the injection of medicine into the specific surgical site. Local anesthesia with oral sedation involves a series of medications that you take orally, some of which are pain medications, medications to reduce anxiety, medications to reduce nausea, and then once those medications have taken effect, you go ahead and inject the actual medicine into the surgical site to provide the anesthesia. Patients who have this type of anesthesia, when I'm injecting the medicine, may have some discomfort. However, if you ask them a day later and go, hey, how was the procedure? They really don't remember the procedure. So there is some degree of amnesia to the procedure. The last type of anesthesia is general anesthesia. This is where your whole body's asleep. This is where you go to the hospital, I give you a medicine, you don't remember anything, you don't feel anything. The selection of an appropriate anesthetic is based on several criteria. And our next video will kind of judge the, the characteristics and all the factors that I use in order to give you options on what type of anesthetic would be best for you.